Hey, what's up guys? Good market strategies is hard to find. In this video, I'll present to you a new and very simple Bitcoin strategy for huge returns that actually stood the test of time, then billionaire investor Bill Milley will explain why he's not selling any Bitcoins. We know that crypto market has been super volatile lately. Traders can make money when market falls and when it rises. That's why I partner with Margex.com. Margex is a reliable crypto platform that allows you to take advantage of volatile market with up to 100x leverage. KYC not required and it has 24-7 customer support. It has the most friendly user interface on the market for beginners and experienced traders. To trade here is very simple and easy. Pick the trade order, adjust the position size, choose the leverage you want to use and final step if you want to go long or short the market. It has deep liquidity pool and security from price manipulation. Trading fees are the lowest in the industry, but right now you won't have to worry even about that, because when you sign up with the link in the description box below, you will get $50 bonus to pay your trading fees and when you deposit 0.004 BTC, you will get an additional $50 bonus. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin market. As of the time this recording, BTC is slightly under $30,000. It seems like it found some local bottom. Currently, it's building some base in between $29,000 and $31,000. Yesterday, it was about $31,000, but today it pulled back a bit. If you take a look at this weekly chart, someone pointed out yesterday that we never had more than 6 down weeks in a row in the Bitcoin market. Last time we had 6 down weeks was in 2014 bear market. After that, BTC still dropped by quite a bit before finding the bottom of around $200. At this time we had just 7 down week lows, we are going into the week number 8. Based on the historical weekly fluctuation, it's unlikely to see another down week, but at this current economy you never know what will happen. However, it seems like right now BTC is forming these new patterns. Now we have this upper trend channel going all the way back from 2019 to this current time. If we will finish this week in green, then there is a good chance this channel might be sustainable. In recent days, I was thinking about another Bitcoin strategy. If you do not want to be hodler just like me and many other hardcore Bitcoin believers, then do not worry, there is still a good chance to make decent profit in the Bitcoin market. Since we already know that this is not a super cycle, this time is not very different than other cycles, then there is a good chance that BTC will further be trading very similar to historic patterns. So what is the strategy you may ask? The strategy is very simple. While it is very simple, at the same time it's not that easy to follow. No, I'm not talking about day trading. You will need some temperament to be successful with this strategy. The simple underlying idea is to buy Bitcoin a few weeks before Bitcoin having and sell it 1 to 1.5 years later. It's that simple. It doesn't get any simpler. First Bitcoin having took place in late 2012. If you bought BTC a few weeks earlier, you would have picked up BTC under $10 a coin. Looking at this current price, it's unbelievable that BTC was actually so low just a decade ago. Anyway, if you would simply sold BTC exactly one year later, in late 2013, you would have made 100x ROI. Of course, you would still have to pay taxes, but you would be very delighted with your profits. $1,000 would turn into $100,000. Not bad at all. Then, second Bitcoin having took place four years later in mid-2016. Few weeks before Bitcoin having, you could have picked up BTC under $500. If you would have sold one year later, you wouldn't be making so much returns. But if you would wait a little bit and sold 1.5 years later, you would make much larger returns. Bitcoin hit the peak of $20,000 in late 2017, which is precisely one and a half years later after the second Bitcoin having. In that case, you would have made 40x ROI on your money. $1,000 would turn into $40,000. Now, let's move on to the next and most recent Bitcoin halving. The third Bitcoin halving took place in May 2020 during the time of pandemic. Few weeks earlier, you could have picked up BTC under $6,000 a coin. One year later, BTC was about $60,000. One and a half years later, BTC was over $69,000. So, you would have made at least 10x during this cycle. $1,000 would turn into $10,000. Yes, we're probably not going to see 100x ROI anytime soon, 
but Zen X is still very good, especially if you compare it to more traditional asset classes such as stocks, bonds, and gold. So, what is the next step? The next step is the most boring one to wait. The next fourth Bitcoin halving will take place in early March 2024, which is less than two years from today. Then it's very simple. Buy BTC in January or February in 2024, wait 1 to 1.5 years, sell it regardless of the price, cash out, and you're good to go. Yes, but I have to wait so long. Look, I didn't say this is easy, you have to have temperament. What is the alternative? Gamble shit coins and blow up once again? Another alternative, which is my favorite strategy, is to huddle through good and bad times and buy periodic dips. It's simple, but it also requires a high degree of temperament. Buying BTC before Bitcoin having and selling it 1 to 1.5 years later seems like the second best strategy out there. However, you will also have to take taxes into the account. Ok, let's move on to some crypto news. El Salvador hosts 44 countries to encourage crypto adoption. I think they meant Bitcoin adoption. I see only Bitcoins being adopted in the real world, while crypto is just for trading and speculating. 8 months after becoming the first country in the world to adopt Bitcoin as an official currency, El Salvador has invited 44 countries to discuss the rollout and benefits of the cryptocurrency. The Central American country will host a representative from Africa, Asia, Latin America on Monday, with financial inclusion and digital economy among discussion topics. El Salvador President Nayib Bukali shared a full list of the attendants on Twitter, revealing that the central banks of both Egypt and Nigeria would be present, accounting for the two biggest economies in Africa. Yes, it seems like mostly countries from Africa will be there and some countries from Latin America. I think this is a huge move for Bitcoin. Now, there are two countries that fully embrace Bitcoin, that is El Salvador itself and Central Africa Republic. Many more to go. Next piece of news regarding Terra Luna. On-chain analysis report says Terra's Bitcoin reserve was sent to Binance and Gemini. After the collapse of Terra's one stablecoin Terra USD, a number of people wonder where the Luna Foundation guard Bitcoin went as the funds were supposed to be used to defend USD $1 parity. On Friday, the blockchain intelligence analytics firm Elliptic published a blog post summarizing where Bitcoin was sent. According to this chart, it seems like 28,200 BTC was sent to Binance and the remaining 52,000 was sent to Gemini. Were they sold? According to this recent news, Luna Foundation sold over 80,000 BTC, just 313 BTC left. According to Logic, they were supposed to sell BTC and buy USD to protect USD stability. But of course, that did not work. Or maybe they did not even try it. Maybe they sold BTC and cashed out. I bet Lulin Technomograd regrets getting this tattoo. What shitcoin will be next? I do not know. It seems like smaller guys buying this dip. Number of addresses hold at least one BTC just reached new all-time high. Now, there are more than 850,000 addresses holding at least one coin. One coin and this evaluation doesn't seem like a lot of money, but in few years, hodlers will be more than delighted. Now, let's take a look at this quick video where billion investor Bill Miller explains why he's not selling any Bitcoin. Let's take a look. The correlation right now is, is with um, risk on, risk off. So when, when the market's doing well, uh, then Bitcoin's been up, and when the market's doing poorly, Bitcoin's been down. Been down, um, and I, I think those correlations can continue to bounce around. So again, I don't have a, I don't have a particular view. I mean, if, if Bitcoin was in half from here, would I be surprised? No, I, I, I would be, uh, you know, chagrined because I own a lot of it, but I wouldn't be surprised. Are you selling any? Have you sold any? Uh, I, I uh, the short answer is uh, no. <laughs> would you think about selling any now, or are you the true diamond hands here? No, I, I, the, only, the only time I ever sell anything, and I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll clarify that, I have sold stuff uh, to meet margin calls because I'm always on, I'm always on margin and, and the stuff that you sell is the stuff that is very, very liquid, um, for me anyway. Uh, but again, that's, that's, just, that's just a particular thing. You know, Jesse Livermore talked about uh, uh, basically losing money being a, a tuition, tuition payment because you learn something. And I would say that, that the tuition payment for me has been very high since November. I hope President Biden gives me some, uh, you know, some 
So basically some uh, debt relief. <laughs> well, you're not the only one. Payments. So let me ask then, because you have been through so many of these cycles, and uh, unlike many other value investors, you are still bullish on Bitcoin specifically. What would you say to other uh, investors who have been caught up in parts of the rest of the crypto collapse and aren't sure whether they should rotate from part of the, you know, from a crappy stable coin into Bitcoin, whether they should just liquidate entirely or whether they should never dabble with crypto again or just seek out, you know, the Bitcoin, Ether, if you believe those are blue chips, you know, go that route. Can you just give kind of your final uh, take here on what you think this is all going to mean for the next couple of months? Well, a couple of months, I, I, I don't have a, I don't have a clue. I, my view is that people have lost a lot of money in crypto. They've been speculating and stuff that they probably don't know anything about, especially if they're surprised to have lost money because it's been it, most of the, of the uh, ICOs that came around in 2017 have gone to zero. And I'd say you've got you know probably 10,000 coins right now, and all except for Bitcoin, in my, in my opinion, even including Ethereum, have competition. And uh, and some of those things, you know, there's there's I don't know, 4,500 public companies or so. And there might be 4,500 venture things involved in the crypto space that might work out. But I don't have the expertise to evaluate them. And I, I think you have to think of them as venture investments, which means that they're going to be driven by power law, uh, you know, power laws instead of, uh, uh, you know, uh, typical uh, Gaussian distributions, which means that most of them aren't, aren't going to work. And a few that do work will do very well. But I don't know which those are. I, I'm just I'm comfortable with Bitcoin. Bill Miller indeed is not selling any Bitcoin, but to clarify, if he sells anything is because of the margin call, it means that he uses leverage. Leverage could be good in a bull market, but in a bear market it may drain your funds. Let me know what you guys think about current Bitcoin market and your Bitcoin strategy. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, smash that like button and subscribe for more videos.